actually be able to play Xbox games via the streaming apparatus that they're going to put into the Windows 10 here coming up in about a month. But it's weird because you're playing an Xbox game on a wall in virtual reality. You're not actually immersed in it, or that's a mode or something like that. It was, it was very odd the way that they, they kind of represented it. But the biggest thing was, of course, uh, uh, HoloLens. This is the first time they kind of presented HoloLens in front of a gaming audience. And I think, and this is, you know, we saw a little bit of Minecraft before. And they really kind of uh, brought a more, a more complex demo for this one. Um, you see, he's, he's sitting up here, uh, getting ready for the HoloLens they're talking about and everything going on. And, 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 and keep in mind, you're not seeing exactly what he's seeing through the HoloLens when you see this kind of stuff. They have a special camera that will, uh, see the same augmented reality stuff that, that he's supposed to be seeing. So we're get these, the video comes off a little more, I think, dramatic then maybe it's going to be because the people that recently demoed uh, the latest version of HoloLens said that that view area is actually really small. And, it, and, and it, that, that's, that's was going to be my, one of my big comments was is that how much of this is smoke and mirrors and how much of it is what he's actually, actually getting. Yeah. Kind of getting, but still like this concept here, like something like this, where they're building this, this, uh, Minecraft table and you look in and it's and you see into the table and then it rises up and it's this 3D thing you know if that is even a little bit close to what we're seeing here and it has to be to some extent but what is that what is that first person experience and nobody's going to know until this gets out and I don't think they're going to have these things for you to put on your head at Best Buy and that's the problem with any of this kind of stuff just like that's been the problem with the connect i i, I have i don't think i've yet to find a uh, an open demo where i can get my hands on an xbox one other than the microsoft kiosk up at the mall and actually play something because nobody set up the connect so uh, you know the, the, what does, are they going to do best with buy this not have the connect set up what's the best buy uh the i don't go there too often but every time i go to best buy since the xbox came out no uh same with playstation 3 I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is this is uh, uh, Best Buy is the ones that set up a, a side by side unit so you could do PlayStation Move and Connect games and try those out. Now, see, I have. I. I, I mean, I have the Connect, and I. I can't imagine not having. Right. The right. And now, now I'm a completely different use case. They, I want it for the voice control. But I think your Connect is uh, from the. They didn't mention Connect once in this in this presentation. It was all about this HoloLens. It was all about the virtual reality and bringing those experiences and being the place for that. Um, and I think I think your idea of the Kinect being the my my path and in reaching into the world of the video game is being replaced by this technology. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I mean, I, I, I mean, from a Kinect perspective, everyone that I hear that talks about Kinect, they're saying, you know, it's great. It would be great if they just included the the microphone built into the box itself and scrap mm. the connect. Mm. And, and that's, that'll be the interesting thing is, is they bring Cortana front and center on the, on the Xbox one update. How's that going to play out? Or even just put the microphone on, um, put the microphone on the controller itself, perhaps. Right. What you kind of do, you can plug your headset in there. So, but, uh, but, but generally, um, but like I said, the, 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 the tech, the tech side is interesting to me. And also, uh, uh, some